Hi everyone, this is Knowledge Topper and in this video we will discuss about a very important and commonly used chart basically that is used in project management and in long researches, okay. Uh, we are discussing about Gantt chart today that is a very important and useful tool basically that helps projects and researches uh, to accomplish efficiently, okay. Uh, you will discuss Gantt chart in detail with the help of uh, different examples that I prepare for you guys. So uh, more importantly your understanding will be clear, okay. Uh, but before moving towards our today's topic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel Knowledge Chopper yet, please do subscribe to our channel Knowledge Chopper as well as like our Facebook page and do join our Facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well. So first of all, we will look at the basic definition of Gantt chart. Then we will further discuss more about Gantt chart in detail with the help of an example that I prepare for you guys. Okay. So uh, as written on your screen, uh, a Gantt chart, you can say that it is a useful graphical tool which basically shows activities or tasks performed over the life of a project, okay. Uh, like uh, it is also known as visual presentation of a project, like where the activities are broken, broken down and uh, displayed on a chart which makes it easy to understand and interpret, okay. Like uh, in simple words, uh, if I can share some real life example to relate this can chart, like uh, you know that in order to construct a house there are some different tasks needed to be performed and uh, like if we don't have any plan we might not able to uh, complete our task as on our expected time uh, like because we never know what will cause or delay our project in future and we might be puzzled like what task we need to perform first and what we need to perform later so like in order to build a house we first make a map of that house then in the second step the builder mark lines uh, according to the map uh, on the ground and then the digging process of ground is starting and then the iron man made and uh, uh, made the base of uh, iron we can say iron skeleton or cage of house okay uh, then the skeleton base filled with the concrete and cement mix then water tank will be built and then the other work like wall through brick uh, will be made and then the first roof in which wooden sh shattering and electric wiring takes place and so on the process continues until the uh, requirement of whatever ground plus two house uh, will be completed okay so basically all these steps are related and dependent on each other like you cannot build a roof if there is no wooden shattering in place means like you have to first make an iron skeleton of roof along with wooden shattering and electric lines then you put cement on the roof without iron uh, like like without iron skeleton cage and wooden shattering you cannot build the roof of, uh, of ground floor so each activity is basically dependent on other and if, if one activity delays suppose like uh, you don't know you need wooden uh, shattering at this point and suddenly all your cement is ordered and your builder says it will take two weeks until the wooden shattering will be available so uh, like it is placed on some like we assume that uh, our shattering our wooden shattering is placed on some other projects so now uh, basically uh, your cement won't be that affected like uh, after two weeks that it is now uh, like because it will be older uh, so basically uh, what what is basically the main purpose behind uh, explaining this example with you guys like uh, uh, a, a GAN chart basically includes resources includes milestones includes tasks to be performed and dependencies so like if we talk about resources here uh, like uh, as you can see right here uh, so basically uh, if we talk about resources by using Gantt chart we know that uh, at this point of time uh, like uh, we must require wooden shattering for rooftop construction so we ordered before to that in order before that time that we actually need that item so we basically uh, ordered that before okay when when we need okay so to make it available on that date when we need it okay so our other work will not be affected that uh, then if we talk about uh, a milestone like uh, at different point of time we can say that our third 30% uh, or our 50% work has been completed like uh, the most important thing is to made base of a house so we can say that by building ground floor uh, our 45% work is complete or uh, and, and we are on right track as we planned in our Gantt chart okay uh, like uh, the other thing that is included in Gantt chart is task okay now, now Gantt chart is all about performing tasks at, at right time like if our project of building a house consists of one year so I must know that in uh, like uh, uh, in, in after the end of uh, third week or of, uh, of fourth month 
my task will be this like my task will be to order floor tiles or XYZ anything that is planned in Gantt chart then we have dependencies okay now dependencies is that your work is up to date and one task cannot delay the other task if it happened the whole duration uh, process is affected okay and delayed basically and it will create a lot of problems like your tile worker has a schedule to work on your project on first week of fourth month now if you delayed in order uh, in ordering tile you basically might be in trouble because your tile worker may not be available after that so when your tiles will be delivered to you okay so uh, basically a Gantt chart helps you to eff effectively manage or your project and it will let you know what new resources you need at which point what is the next task how much your project milestone is accomplished and it will help you in minimizing dependencies and hurdles okay as well so it it it, it, it basically uh, not affect your project uh, both physically and financially as well so this is the most important uh, uh, thing behind Gantt chart is that like uh, it helps you managing your project effectively and efficiently as well now here is the example of a Gantt chart as you can see we take this construction uh, uh, example so as you can see here uh, all basically tasks are mentioned here okay like uh, we have a simple construction is casual like 40% uh, if we did that 40% uh, our work has been complete and we have the main uh, like first of all we have pre-construction uh, things like uh, design and planning sample approval contract execution XYZ then we have construction the main purpose mobilization demo uh, like uh, rough framing structural repair so we have all these things and we have a given percentage to that so we know that you, you, you can see that all these uh, uh, tasks are aligned and uh, if uh, like uh, rough framing is not done so we cannot move to structural repair okay so these all are the dependencies uh, and uh, we have here like uh, percentage of completion like you can say that at this point of time you will complete this much of work okay uh, so you know that uh, you are uh, basically on time uh, according to your uh, pre-planned uh, um, uh, you can say that uh, time or work so as you can see here basically like um, that how much work has you been completed like you can see that uh, uh, the phases and the task that is performed during uh, so like uh, the, there is a time mention is also there like uh, February 2019 March then in in, Feb in the month of February we will do this work in March we will do this work in April we will do this work so it is basically an effective tool and graphical presentation of uh, uh, your work your task to be performed okay like the main purpose of a Gantt chart that you have for each and everything uh, uh, is planned and uh, you know that uh, where you are heading so it, it will be easier for you to manage things in future okay like uh, manage things according to the uh, span of time and the most important thing that it will help you to uh, manage your project and complete your project and complete your goal uh, in the desired time effectively and efficiently at the same time. So this is all about Gantt chart. Hope you understand clearly about Gantt chart in detail. If you like this video, thumbs up. Do subscribe to our channel Knowledge Shopper as well as like our Facebook page. And do join our Facebook group as well where you find a lot of good material related to these topics as well as from other courses as well. So this is the video for all of you guys. Thank you so much everyone. It's time to say bye-bye.